Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you've been great, hope you've been awesome, and I hope you had a great week. Today's topic is about the reason why our hair is not flourishing in Australia. Environmentally and self-inflicted. Without a special order, let's get right into it. One, the climate change, the change of environment. With everything, when there is a change, there is a disruption. And when there's a disruption, you kind of learn how to blend in and assimilate. But that is not happening for us. So then I was like, huh, climate change. Africa has a tropical climate. Especially in the central, the west and the east, they are all tropical. Where you have a lot of water level in this in the in the air, more than when you come to Australia here, where the humidity level is as low as you can get it but that that for when you live in the northern territory the northern territory have similar climate to africa but when you come down to the south where we live it's dry it is dry if you haven't noticed wash your hair and go out the next minute your hair feels like it has been stripped away with so many things number one Number two, did you know that the water that we use has an effect on our hair? Yes, the water. There are two types of, type of water out there. There is soft water and there is hard water. Soft water is rain water and river water. They don't have any chemicals in it. They came from the sky and came from natural flowing river water. Hard water is the amount of dissolved calcium and magnesium in the water. You may have felt the effect of hard water when you shower and your skin feels very dry. When you wash your hair, it feels like you have stripped away so many things. Even when you wash your hair, you have to moisturize it very quickly so that you don't, you don't feel like you are scraping against something. Yes, that's hard water. Hard water also is very hard to foam. So you have to use a lot of product. You have to use a lot of shampoo, a lot of soap, and all of that. With that, the effect is bad because then that means you strip away a lot of the natural oils in your hair. And when you forget to add into it, it becomes very hard, very dry, and very brutal. That's where you have a lot of split ends. That's where you have when you, you wash. If you can notice, if you have noticed through your hair washing, that when you wash your hair, it mat together quickly. Yes, because of the hard water. Comparing back to Africa, I don't know of you guys, but for my experience, we usually used to use um river water or rain water. And I was like, wow, that is so true because... Back then, I didn't have, we didn't understand much of a tangoing that much and all of the things that follow behind it. Now we come here, we have to get like 10 different type of products to be able to offset what the hard water has done. Yes. So it's like, hmm. But that's a good knowledge to gain. Three, no previous knowledge of hair. No idea at all. Most of the people I have come across will say, Ruth, we have no clue about hair. Back home, we will just go to the salon, the salonist wave. We'll wash our hair, treat our hair, braid our hair. We come home. We do absolutely nothing with our hair. Go back again and do the same process. We have no idea our skills. And some are not willing to even learn. But yet, some of us who are not willing to learn are not willing to pay for the service in Australia. No shade. You know that. that. So, I was like, yeah, another reason. But we're not to blame because of the, the society that we they grow up in, or we all grow up in. And coming here where you don't have much hair, hairdressers who know about caring about the foundation of the hair, all they know is to add. But yet, when they are adding, they are destroying. They are not helping to maintain. As a hairdresser, I believe that we are meant to maintain what you got or help grow it better than what it is. And most people don't have that, that, that knowledge as well. Fourth, lack of product in the market. Most of the product we have are Caucasian based and it's not really situated for our hair. Our hair need more 
attention than what a Caucasian would need because because of the curve we have it's very tight and all of that and the product in Big W or Coles and every places are not really that favorable to us and most people have used those products and it makes the hair dry and break and all of that going to the African shops they, they start bringing in product that for us but the wrong thing they do is they buy too much of the product it becomes expired people use it it has an effect on their hair I've seen so many women lost their hair because of expired product either they have a lot of film on the film on the hair because the product has expired or some people put relaxer on instantly when they remove it it falls out so people are being traumatized by this first of all you have no clue not only is the climate against you not only is the water not there to help you out at all but the product that you're supposed to help to offset the effect of these things are also bad for you very 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 bad and people don't know they have no clue they don't know that you are supposed to keep a product in for 12 months if you cannot use the product before a year end you need to get rid of it but people don't know that as well and those who the people that have the 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 the, 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 the shop owners that have the the shops do not know that this is the these are the reason why you're not supposed to keep things in for so long or you're not supposed to buy excessive amount but we are here to help you another one is impatient and because people are impatient they have neglect their hair not only have they neglect their hair but any other thing that comes to self-care most some people not all people some people but when it comes to hair most people have neglected their hair because they feel that it's too hard to handle it's confusing it tangle quickly and all of that now you understand that the water is the reason why your hair tangle quickly because it strip away all the natural water it's supposed to hold you also know that the climate is now right for you the climate is also affecting especially when you live in Adelaide I can attest to that I live in Adelaide as well and all of that but people neglect their hair and because of negligence the hair does not grow it goes with everything in life you cannot put a seed down and expect it to just spread within a second and become very uh, green and luscious for you to be like oh my god it takes time and put you have to put in effort make up your mind to say this is what I want to do and you do it with all your heart with all your mind Care, caring for your hair is part of caring for yourself when your hair is good and it's flourishing tell me you don't feel extra it's like you put in extension when you look good it's like you can overcome any circumstances in life but when you don't look good you're like hey it's the same with your hair you should not have that expression of yourself only when you have extension have that expression of yourself when you also have your natural hair walk in the mirror and be like ha, girl you are fine today do you know you are one of the kind but it shouldn't be only based because you have extension on where is the balance there are people who will swear by their life will never wear like have their own hair out no way they feel that it's they feel that it's unkept they feel that it's so unrepresented unrepresenting of who they are i'm like oh my god why because they have become impatient and they neglect their hair and it does not look good for you for it to be putting out it's not because of anything it's the negligence and they are now waiting to learn and they are waiting to open up their mind and experiment open up your minds experiment is all part of life taking chances if you have done everything it's not working then you're like okay then maybe i should give it but if you haven't done anything you just forgot and just like ah, i'm lazy it does not take five years when you're watching your tv try and oil your hair if you are going to sh uh, shower put treatment in your hair before you go shower clean your house you can do all of that with, with your hair being treated 
you can put it within your schedule the schedule of your day you don't have to be a special time set apart you can't be impatient but one thing I know is the what you value is what you prioritize and if your hair is one of the things that you value the most not the most one of them that you value that is part of your body then you learn you become patient and learn to grow with it and another one is the pulling of the hair some hairdressers love to pull hair and some consumers or customers love that face to be like this Botox just because your hair is not that doesn't mean it's not braided well have I been guilty of that some, yes sometimes you just something but it should not be an intentional thing always it should not and people pull their hair at the result you have all of this hair now you have the the Chinese uh, battle royale people because <laughs> Chinese Chinese no <laughs> the Chinese action film what they always call the front it's like, I'm not laughing I'm just saying because these are the things that affect the people from back home people people had no some of the that the, the back home they had no clue they go and they want the most tightest braid and the tiniest braid consistently keep braiding over the same spot eventually it, it's gone there's nothing going to come back anymore because when you have close up the cuticle that the, the, the foundation of the hair that's supposed to come out i've seen i've seen that effect so much and with so many knowledge out there i don't think we should still be doing it now if your hair just is guilty of that tell her release your hand my hand is not my head is not a battlefield you are not on a battlefield you are just here to extend my hair so that it rests you're not here to come and pull everything out of this the, the scalp it, again the climate change which we have no control over hard water and soft the hard water system we have no control over but we have ways to to revert the effect another one with no previous education yep lack of product in the market what we don't have choice but the one that we have choice with is that you have the choice to tell your hairdresser to stop pulling your hair too much make sure you don't keep your hair in for six seven months that is so unhygienic at all and all of that you need to wash your hair you need to shampoo your hair you need to care for your hair as a human being think about it keep treat your hair like a human being it the times they need rest the time it needs to be pimped up the time that it needs to go to some spa treatment and all of that you need all the pedicure when there is hard you know that you need to do something to your like all of that treat your hair like a human being and with why you here hit um attacking us i'm not attacking i'm trying to put out what i've been seeing what i've been hearing and what i've experienced these are the things these are the problems that we're having and i believe that whenever you want to get a solution you have to understand where the problem is whenever you want to know why the roof is cracking go down to the foundation because they're where they made a mistake Yes, you can have the weak, you can have the braids and all of that. But how are you confident when all of those things go? Can you still walk around with your hair high? Can you still be as confident as you are? Or will you hard? Let's go back to the foundation. That's the main reason why I'm starting the series this way. So that I can pull out the what is what people try to hide behind. It's not a hate thing, but it's a love message coming to you. So have peace, have love, and remember, you did not choose to be different, but you choose to be unique. If you agree with everything I've said in this video, please comment below. Let's chat. Let's discuss. Are you guilty of this? Because some of it, I'm guilty of it as well. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification button so that you can be reminded of videos when i put it up every wednesday and friday have a wonderful and blessed day thank you for watching again see ya